I am very well, Colm. How are you? I'm good. Um, uh, first things first. Um, the Voice of Ireland. It is. It is quite popular. Lots of people talking about it. You are well on your way, my friend. And uh, people might remember me. Who might be remembered from such episodes of the Mix Up of last year when you did a cover version for us of uh, Daft Punk's "Get Lucky." Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and you're all big now. Well, I wouldn't say big now, but I'm doing my best to be big. Yeah. <laughs> T- tell me, about, tell me what's happened so far. So you went to the Voice of Ireland, you did the blind audition, and you're still there. Yeah. So last, last, uh, well, on Sunday there it was my battle aired. It was filmed back in December, so I've been sitting on this for a while uh, with great difficulty, as you can imagine. <laughs> but um, yeah, so basically I, I faced off with another contestant, Paddy Riley from Dublin there, and uh, we sang Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Years for Fears, which wasn't an ideal choice of song for me, but I think I managed it okay. Uh, well, Brad, you picked me on here, so... <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean now in terms of um, next step, let's say? What are you doing next on The Voice? Well, Betty, I'm through the last... 24 now, so oh. it's through to the live shows which start on it's the 16th. Uh, my my live show though is on the 23rd, my first one. So basically, I'll be appealing for all your listeners to kind of get behind me for that. Nice. Uh, um, so it goes kind of between the judges' scores and the public vote uh, for to go through, and hopefully everyone will get behind me, and hopefully I'll do a good job. Well, again, again, I'm sure you will. Again, as I said, you are a known adoptee of the mix-up because, as I said, you came on the show last year and you, you did a cover version for us, and that's where we're getting behind you. So we have to, we have to kind of rally the troops, then, yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be hoping all your listeners will be uh, giving me a bit of support now and in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> we'll do it, man. Well, any plans for for tracks that you can sing for the for the for the uh, live show, no? Um, well, I can't really say, unfortunately, but I've been kind of, you know, brevi has been following me emails and that with suggestions. He's pretty good, actually, I have to say. He's not sending me on too much crap. <laughs> He's <laughs> they're, all, they're, all, they're all pretty good songs, so, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully it'll be something, something really good. Right, we'll have to get yourself and Brezzy in here before those live shows and uh, maybe have a chat or even afterwards. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love that, yeah. Um, you talk to your people, I'll talk to my people, and uh, we'll make it happen, all right? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good to talk to you, and keep the you flag too. flying for, for Today FM and the mix-up. When you when you can, you've got to get a mention in on The Voice, all right? Sorry? When you can, you've got to get a mention for the show on the oh, station yeah. on The Voice. I'll be the mix-up if you keep plugging me. Hey, good deal. <laughs> Listen, Parik, talk to you soon. Thanks very much. Take it easy. Uh, that's Parik Byrne on the show last year, and he's now in the final stages of The Voice Ireland. So we're going to get behind him, all right? Uh,